starting a rotary is uh, is an interesting exercise. Each cylinder has to be primed in turn by the engineers. Uh, it's then pulled through to make sure that we've got fuel, a good fuel air mixture in each cylinder. Pilot's then told to put the switches on, which he does. He sets the engine controls. The engine air intake go, is open. The fuel is turned off. The engineer swings the propeller. The engine fires up. As the prime is burnt off, then the pilot slowly feeds in the fuel control to introduce fuel to the engine. Too fast, it'll go rich and stop. Too slow, it'll go lean and stop. So it's important he gets it right, otherwise the whole process has got to start again. And in this case, as you can see, it was caught quite nicely and the engine fires up to an idle. It's a very straightforward aircraft to fly. It's one of the only aircraft in the collection that's stable around all three axes. It's a bit interesting on the engine in that uh, it's a bit of a trick keeping a rotary running in the air, but it is by far the easiest rotary we have in the, in the Shuttleworth collection at the moment, the easiest rotary to operate. Uh, the control system uses Blackburn's patent wheel control. Originally, it was moved left and right for rudder, up and down for pitch, and rotate side to side for roll. Uh, towards the latter end of his monoplane uh, career, then he moved the rudder bar to the floor for the rudders, blocked the, the control wheel in yaw, and it's just used to rotate for roll control and up and down for pitch. Mono. 